Okay, everybody. Welcome back to Learn with Minecraft Education. We are today going to be learning how to code an infinity cube. Um, you can download this world I've created in the description. There's a link to where you can get it for free. Now, at the end of today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to code a giant infinity cube. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video uh, to see what's going on there. Now, if you like the video and you want to see more lessons on Minecraft education, please do like and subscribe to my channel. But without any further ado, let's dive in and take a look at how this world works and how we code an infinity cube. So we move forward down the red path here and we speak to Brenda. Hello, Brenda. Go to the top of the viewing platform. Now, the infinity cube is an optical illusion. So from up here, it looks pretty cool. It's like, it looks like a cube. It looks like all four sides are equal and it's one long line. Uh, that makes this cube, but if we head down, thanks Brenda, if we head down to Bob here, he will tell us, you can take a close look at the infinity cube here from all angles, walk around it, take note, as next you will be building your own. So your students uh, will need to really carefully look at the dimensions of this cube, all right? So for example, I usually advise that we start here in this corner, I call it the kind of bottom right corner. I guess, um, and we're going to do one, two, three, four blocks there, five here, five here, and then three here, and then we start heading up, and just take, a, take note of those. Um, and you can come back to this area of the map uh, to take a careful look. Now, let's head over to uh, Mike. Hello, Mike. Now you have had a careful look at the Infinity Cube. Your challenge is to build one yourself. Uh, in the chest, there's uh, some blocks and a photo and a book, so um, a photo, a camera and a book, so that we can share our work with our teacher. Uh, you can use the outline in the white square to get you started. So let's just um, have a look at what that means. So here's the chest. Let's grab some of these blocks here. And um, here is the outline. So this, if we build on top of this, it will give us the starting point to our infinity cube, which is nice because once you start it, actually, um, it's just a case of two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, uh, maybe it's five, I don't know, but you come back over here, uh, one, two, three, four, no, yeah, and then down three. And uh, just building around like this. Now, I'm not going to show you how I would build the whole thing. Uh, but it's a little bit uh, like this. Now, here's something that's pretty cool. Your students will almost certainly mess this up when they first start building it. Uh, so here is a clear and reset button. So just gets rid of um, any mistakes that you may make. Well, it gets rid of the whole thing. Um, but it means you can restart without having to go through and demolish all your blocks. Um, so the idea is that your students just keep trying that until they're pretty happy with it. They can grab the camera and from over here, take a quick picture, pop it in the book. Um, do look at my first ever video, which is how to use the camera book and quill, uh, which explains how they can uh, take a picture and submit it to you if they're doing online learning or, or just for assessment or whatever. Um, so, and they can clear that away when they're done if they want. Um, now we're going to head over here to, who's this, Hilda. Um, now move into the yellow square and press C to summon the agent. You must try and code the agent to build an infinity cube. Uh, we've got another clear and reset here if our agent goes a bit wrong. Now this is a bigger square because um, we need a bit more space with the agent because who knows where the agent's going to start off and where our students are going to put them. Uh, do be aware uh, that this is actually pretty tricky so don't come to this section unless you've already learnt how to build the infinity cube over here how to build it. Um, so we, we come over here and we press um, C. So we'll go to this kind of bottom right area here. Press C. Um, now, your students will start a new project. I, of course, I'm not going to sit here and build an infinity cube. Um, so I've got an infinity cube here. And um, I'll sh show you how to share, uh, share this solution in a moment, because you will want to have the solution for your students before you start uh, getting them into, involved in this lesson. I've also got one here that says big cube, where I just um, kind of increased the um, distances between, I think I added like 50% uh, 
um, to the to the total here uh, to build a bigger cube. And I said at the end of today's video, we will look at what that bigger cube looks like. Uh, but for now, we're just going to build a normal cube. Now, I've got an agent teleport to player here, so I can just fine tune where my agent is. And um, I've also got a turn left, so I can get them pointing in the right direction. Um, do you know what? I'm just going to I'm just going to move this over here. Um, so this is our coding. I've got a turn left here to move things around a bit, and a turn right, another LT. Don't need two of them. And then I've got my cube and big cube. Let's just make that full screen so it's really clear what's going on. I realized before that I should really make this full screen, and I should really not have anything interesting going on in the bit of the video up here where my face is. Uh, but still, we're going to go over these, this solution soon anyway, so don't worry about it. Right, OK, so let's get our agent um, over here. So I'm going to stand where I want my agent to kind of start off, and I'm going to type TP to get him over here. Now, at the moment, he's not pointing in the right direction, so I press T, LT, and just turn him around. Now, I think if I get him to build here, we should be in the right area. So let's press T and type. Oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, shall I give him some blocks? Oh, he's got, he's got some sea lanterns already. That'll look quite good. So let's go T and type cube. And off he goes. He's going to build me a beautiful infinity cube. And it will all go to plan. Um, now there's, as you might imagine, a lot of steps to this. So if your, if your agent starts making stuff, doing it wrong, oh, and he teleports back to me at the end. Good agent. Um, so yeah, here we've, here we've got a lovely infinity cube. I think the sea lantern looks brilliant. Um, and you know what, your agent, your students probably, your agent, your students will um, almost certainly mess this up when they do it uh, the first time. So uh, let's assume that we've messed it up. Luckily I didn't, so we'll press that, clear it away, and we'll come back over here and we'll type TP, get our agent there again, and press C, go back into the coding, and um, start making adjustments. Um, so this, this level really here is just to facilitate um, tr some trial and error. So these areas, uh, you know, we build it up over here, and then we do it with the agent over here, which is, which is a bit of an extension task really. For my students, that was, that was pretty tricky. Uh, but certainly they can build one over here. That was fun. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the code, all right? And then, and then we'll, I'll show you guys this big, giant cube at the top and then, and then we'll end up there. Okay, so um, here we have the on chat command cube. So we, we're um, agent place on move true. So whenever he moves, he's gonna place a block. Set the active slot to one, isn't always essential, uh, but just to make sure we're giving him the right cubes. And then just agent moving forward by three, turning left, forward by five, and so on. Uh, now, here's something that's pretty cool. Uh, you can share your code, all right? so. Um, your students will probably struggle uh, to get this done, many of them. Um, so it's good, it may be uh, at the end of the lesson or just before the end of the lesson, to give them the solution. Or certainly as a teacher, it's really useful to have the solution so that you can help your students at least. So I'm going to click Publish Project here. Uh, I'm going to copy this link. That's going to be in the description for this video. Um, you could even, hey, technology, you can hold up your phone and scan this QR code now, and um, it will take you to the solution, uh, which is pretty cool. So if your students are at home doing distance learning and they've got their phones handy or iPads or whatever, they can hold it up to the screen now and uh, look at the solution uh, of how to code this infinity cube. Right, let's take that away. Um, right, so I promised um, a large cube at the end, big cube, there it is, and you can see I've just um, you know, what times everything and made it bigger. So uh, I will now deliver on that and I will show you how to code, code a big cube. Now I've put these barrier, not barrier blocks, border blocks in, so I can't get through. Um, but you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna forward slash WB to make myself, uh, give myself world builder status. I'm going to get my agent over here, pronto, there he is. And let's go ahead and type in big cube for a big finale to our video today. Off you go. 
Mr. Agent. Now, while he's building, I'm just going to let you know that later on this week, we're going to be doing a, looking a little bit more at uh, add-on uh, add-ons for Minecraft education. Uh, the shader and texture pack videos seem really, really popular. Um, so uh, let's let's look at add-ons next, and we'll look at some furniture adding. Um, furniture that's not included in the kind of vanilla normal Minecraft education and seeing uh, how we can do that. We'll keep going with our sustainability city videos. I'll probably combine a few of those now. I might do uh, lesson three and four in one video. Um, and also, um, let's acknowledge that uh, it's World Book Day soon. So uh, maybe if you head over to the social pages, I'll be able to um, give you drop a few ideas about something you could do during World Book Day with custom skins and downloading worlds. Um, a lot of my students like Harry Potter, and I know that they uh, would like to, a Harry Potter custom skin and to design uh, maybe Hogwarts Castle school thing. Uh, that could be a really fun World Book Day lesson, so I might uh, do a little video on that, or I might just put something on the social uh, about that. Okay, so there's our Infinity Cube. Um, let's go ahead and go forward slash time set night. Uh, let's go midnight to get things looking really cool. And um, there we go. There's our glowing, uh, glowing infinity, giant infinity cube. And um, check out my video on shaders um, because uh, with shaders turned on, uh, this infinity cube lit up like this at night looks awesome, okay? So guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please do like and subscribe. But until then, have a good one. I'll see you next time.